Hey guys and gals, and welcome back to my playthrough of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Now, last we left off, um, I believe I took care of, uh, Mazar well, the Drukhari raid on Dargonis. So there's that. And I believe I also met Nomos. Yeah. Hello, Nomos, welcome to your visit. Uh, what about the research notes on the... Okay, let's do this. We have been studying and observing and helping the ship when we can. So many mechanisms, they would have suffered without our input. What about the research notes on the tech blight that we obtained from the caches on Kiabagama? Name is known... This name is known to us. It is related to Nomos, although we do not understand how. Okay. Wait and search. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that I do have a uh <clears throat> I I do have uh to talk to everybody about this. Uh talk to the officers. Yeah, talk to them about the caches. So I have to speak to the officers, Voxmaster and uh Houseman Ra Ravenor. Uh Lord Idara, okay. In today's episode I'm actually thinking about um well, completing any, ev anything and everything because I believe if I com if I go on the uh, parade um, on Dargonus, it's gonna you know it's gonna end the act. It's it's gonna go into Act Two. So uh, let me do these guys. Okay. Use these. Do these things first. We need to see here. Uh, do this. They mean nothing to me. They're just words. A whisper, so quiet I barely caught it. Like a feather landing on a pile of down. Something about damned ambitions, antiquity, terrible antiquity. And chance, chance through it all. Oh, now I have a headache. And the stupid bloody whisper wasn't much help. Okay. Of course. Always at your service, whenever you need me. Double art. Wait, where are you? Oh. Lord Captain? Um... No, definitely not. No, I don't recall anything like that. Okay. Lord Captain. All right, Voxmaster, please tell me you got something. All of Lady Theodora's journeys could be considered unusual. Her odysseys were always audacious. As for the words you mentioned, none of them sounds familiar to me as far as I can tell. Except maybe the incident. I recall something across this word in transmissions several times. I think it was repeated by a f by the former Indian seer, the one who perished during Kunrat's Budvir's uprising. He was describing it as the incident, something quite remarkable, apparently. At some point in the past, the entire ship was hit by a massive system failure. All systems stopped responding to one-fifth of a second. Most of the crew, including myself, as I was likely on board at that time, did not notice anything strange, but tech are sensitive to such things. This I can tell you, Lord Captain. I wish I could help you more. Okay. Alright, Helmsman. Lord Captain, Master Helmsman, ready to your service. Wait, tall man before you appears woven from tendons and muscle, blue veins snake under his white, almost dove-colored skins, and his scalp and chin are covered in cropped white hair. His, necks and his neck and shoulders are wrapped in wires that hint at the presence of a neural connectors under his uniform. The officer's face seems to be twisted in a perpetual grimace of annoyance and anger, but he greets you with a respectful nod. Okay. Yes, I do, Lord Captain. Doesn't ring any bells. Then again, remembering all the places Lady Theodora, Th Lady Theodora went what is his, br his brow furrows. Apathath. Incident. We always have... We always had heaps of innocent incidents happening on board, but through my implants, I feel I feel at one with this ship, and I sense that. And I don't know when it happened exactly. It started behaving differently, becoming more responsive, livelier. Yes, livelier is exact. No, is exactly the word. And when you said epitaph and incident, it just dawned on me. Part of my bungled report, Lord Captain. But that's all I've got to say on that front. Okay. So what? Oh. Oh, okay. 
Greetings. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Words cannot describe how bo I haven't. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, how did you feel about the uh, the fight? Hell on talk. Okay. Heinrichs, how do you feel? To what do I owe this visit? Okay. Pascal. Beyond the sign. Me. Okay. Uh, let me trade something with the Cosmoli Commission first. Because I remember I got a lot of stuff from the Drukari raid. Oh, yep. Uh. Ooh, boy. Kasakin Gauntlet. Grants where plus 10 bonus to critical hit chance. Not bad. Wait, did I? Miscellaneous. Uh. Mechanicus and ranged weaponry. Not that great. Okay, whatever. Let's see, where is it? Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, just my luck. Just my freaking luck. Nothing, right? Yeah, let's do this. Human shells are subject to external influence. Perhaps some someone purged their memory archives, or perhaps they simply do not want to access them. It is a shame that no new information was obtained, but no one's are grateful that you tried. Uh, the ship was... Isn't it an 872-04 was a ship-wide system failure of some kind? And it appetite has something to do with the ship's flying better. The incident marked the beginning of us. The ship became better because of us, too. These are all links in the same chain, but we cannot piece them together yet. Okay. Okay, let me fly around and see if anything pops up. The Lord Captain retreats to his study to reflect on recent events, but his train of thought is interrupted by a muffled creak of the door and the sound of soft footsteps. What? Elantar, I finally found you in this dwelling. You like come closer and smoothly makes an unfamiliar gesture with her hand. This symbol has many meanings. Humility, grief, loss, shame, and regret. I hope you will accept them all, because I am sorry for what happened to your world, to your subjects, to your palace, and for what my kin did to them. Uh, your kin? You never referred to Drakari as such before. For a few seconds, your is silent. It came from the same source, Alantar. We share the same blood. Although the Drakari's blood is distorted and their soul empty, it is a fact that cannot simply be brushed aside. Uh... Thank you, truly. Thank you. Your lips shudder so slightly that you almost missed it. She opens her mouth, then turns away, searching for the right words. My words will not heal the wounds, not, nor bring back the fallen, and they will not restore your protector. However, your lips fall silent, and, and her deep, piercing gaze seems to reach down into the very depths of her soul. Looks like be back at her. Look, Alan Tark. The gaze of a child of our so young can penetrate deeper than a monkey's. I can see all the heaviness that have accumulated in your soul during our travels. I see it. In your gestures. In the tilt of your head. In the change of yours. In your scent. And you will allow- If you will allow me, this is the first time you have heard your lips sound so indec indecisive and guilty. I will help you cast off this burden and cleanse your soul and mind of worry. Uh, how exactly are you going to help me? It's difficult to describe, Alan Tark, but your soul shines bright and your mind is strong enough for you to be able to immerse yourself in- your own mind and cleanse it of unnecessary cares. I'm still not sure that your species is capable of such a thing, but it is worth a try. If, if nothing comes out of it, then the only thing you will lose is a small fraction of your time. And I will be your guide on this journey. I will help you to enter the meditative state, to get to know yourself, of course. That is if you let me. Immersing yourself in your soul is a deeply intimate process, but you will not be able to do it without me. Your lips slowly brushes a strand of red hair away from her face. 
and I promise you, Alan Tark, that I will not judge you, you, your world, or anything that takes place inside it. You will see what you want to see. Okay. Embers of genuine curiosity glimmer in her emerald gaze. To a human, to know a human soul is a unique opportunity for an Eldari, and Yerlet's uncharacteristic caution and, and uncertainty implies that she is also discomforted by her own keen interest. Uh, is it the same meditation you were using? Affirmative not serve as a silent answer. Uh, are you a little curious to see something I had on you? Alantar, looking offended, crosses her fingers in a new gesture. Meditation is not a tool for achieving lowly goals. It is a healing spirit spring of the soul. Yes, I meant it. There's nothing wrong with wanting to know a human soul. You are like a snake coiling around my body, twisting tighter with every word, Alantar. It is hard to breathe when I'm near you. Your little furrows are brown and crosses her arms. You are tired of fighting and raging water... You are tired of fighting the raging waters in your of your life, and I'm, and so I am holding out my hand to you. The choice is to grab it or to fight alone is yours to make. So make it. Very well. Let's see what my mind has installed. You're not slowly, and she clearly she is clearly surprised by your compliance. Then we will need to find a suitable place, somewhere quiet and serene. Let go of everything, Alantar. Doubt, fierce emotion, cast off the weight of your body, cleanse your mind. Good. Now try looking, uh, look at it, shine timidly, and dive in. Okay, she's not kidding about the dive in part. We did it, Alantark. So far, your world would resemble the real one, but soon you will learn to go deeper. Remember that Remember that everyone is just a reflection of your thoughts, f feelings, and desires. Do not be afraid to look at them in the eye. Miscalculations are for commoners. I don't make mistakes. Can I, I loot anything? Profitable learning experiences. Nope. I cannot loot anything. Oh, hello. Uh... I'm guessing this is when, uh, okay. The words could be misconstrued. Am I a mutant or are you toying with me? It's natural for a monkey to desire closeness with their own kind, but this sh shared desire gives rise to doubt. Is this, uh, who? Yeah, th I believe this is Jay. Fresh blood soaks into the priceless silk cover. It's forming an ugly stain under the corpse. Your corpse. What? All sentient beings are afraid of death. You have to accept fear. Keep okay. Wits about you. Except your fears. Let me see around first. Well, hello. Sending, sending at the helm, peering into the darkness of the cosmos. You feel lonely among your stars doing my kin. Is there money to be made? Am I here to kill you, to betray you, to serve you? Am I a friend or foe? What do you think, Hypostain? Okay. Oh. We got rid of one rogue trader and we will get rid of him too. What? Everyone, from the lower decks to the senior officers, hate him. I hear their vox transmission. Mutiny is brewing. As long as I can still use his thrones, I don't care. Once betrayed, it is hard to put one's trust in others again, especially those closest and most loyal to us. Let us not dawdle. Jay, you are doing everything right. Don't worry, Shadeen. I will be happy to take your place when you are gone. Wow. If you are ready for come to me, I was Dane. Kinda. Oh, don't you ever forget me. Not even for a moment, did I? Are you memories? Okay. Can I read this? Oh, yep. Not even for a moment, because as soon as you turn away, I will plunge the shot of my sword into your throat. Okay. Always keep your eye on the prize. The burden of responsibility lies in your shoulders, I'm sorry. You're so gross, dual for money. Just break the chains of exhaustion. Okay, let me say first. I don't know if this is like, you have to choose which one to do. Okay, before that, let me see what's on the other side of the room. Okay. Hey, Abelard. Hello, Captain. Your decision will doom us all. Oh, perish, perish. Risking nothing but their own escape. But what of you? Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. You know, have a stain for Valencia's crimes against the sacred laws of the Omnisaya has been locked. Retribution is imminent. Ooh. Argenta? In truth, you believe in nothing at all, Hyphus Dane. Not the God Emperor, the Arch of Many Order. You, you believe in yourself, I pity you. I always have a backup plan. Idara? Putting on airs, Lord Captain, you are distant from the common folk, as rusty footfalls is from terror. 
I'm proud of you, Havistain. You have become a worthy successor, and perhaps even a, the best Lord Captain. Some words you need to hear at least once to believe them. Okay, what about you, douchebag? You just got Lunky Monkey, but luck is the only thing you have. You are weak, so prepare to suffer. Only the mad and the foolish never doubt their strength. The wise are full of doubt, but they knew. Okay. All right. Keep your wits about you. Let me uh, kill myself first. Okay. Uh, dispel my loneliness. Is there money to be made? Exhaustion. Give me some Red Bull. Some recaf. Whatever. And finally, be gone, my doubt. Uh, what happened? Where do I go now? Oh, wait. What the? The land emperor alone can be guided yet. And is it possible to achieve peace in all corners? You must find peace inside your own soul. Who the hell are these guys? To, vo to the void with the soul, gods, and friends. Only power can bend. Okay. Oh, that's a Zinchuan. This is Zinchuan. I believe that's a Eldari. Yeah, that looks like an Eldari uh, fighter. That looks like a guardian. This. I don't know what the hell you are. I mean, all the spiky things kind of suggest. Uh, what you might call them? All the spiky bits suggest Drakari. But I don't know. Anything around here? I always keep my options open. Okay. Bye bye. Hey. Yulet's echo. I was Dane. What is this monkey? The voice of the incorporeal echo that has made your soul its home seem to have sound only in your own head. Yulet's face tense in surprise. Her features become even sharper as she stares in confusion at the ghostly figure. She says nothing, standing glance at you, and then the figure again, as if she's waiting for something. Uh, why are you so su why are you so surprised? Yulet averts her uncertain gaze. I do not think. It would be a place for me inside a human soul, and the memory itself, clean, not distorted. This is something I must reflect upon and ponder in solitude. Uh, when you start to know someone, they inevitably—they become part of you. Oh, damn it! A strong feeling envelops your body. You feel yourself become lighter than air, and inside your mind, your thoughts are racing in an incredible speed. You are not yet aware that you are looking through the eyes of your ghostly echo and are observing from afar. All at the same time, the inner world changes under the force of your will, and you can now control your own echo. You can now do something you would not dare to do in the real world. Uh. Yeah, sure. When your soul, when your soul's echo touches the ghostly hand of, an, of the Aldari, the real Yulet flinches in fear and invul involuntarily pulls her, her own hand back. Please, Alantar, this may be your world, but I don't do that again. Yulet's words echo, Yulet's words echo across your world, and the ghastly figure begins to disappear. The words, the world around you starts to stretch endlessly. It's time to return, Alantar. Your soul is not yet strong enough to endure prolonged immersions. Take a deep breath and you awaken from your meditation with a sense of vigor and unusual calm, as if you have just taken a shower under the f under a freezing waterfall. But deliver a speech in front of thousands of subjects, and your heart swells from the crowd's adulation. Hephaestus, you are awake. You let stares at her own hands, realizing that this is the first time she ever called you by your name. Your soul shines too radiantly for a human, despite all the litter that had accumulated in your soul. You can get rid of the litter, but the light. Try to preserve it, Hephaestus. It draws the eyes like bright stars in the night sky. Of course, your words are not as beautiful and serene as mine, but I will gladly see it. It's not litter; it's my inner world. Yeah, let's do this. Your list struck indifferently. You are long for that which human nature desires, for intimacy with your own kind. I can understand that. Uh, will you help me with my meditation again? I don't know, perhaps? Someday? She replies vaguely. Oh, I feel as I've been reborn. This is the cleansing of your soul, Alantark. I hope that now you understand the importance of keeping it free from unnecessary litter. It's not litter, it's my inner world. I do not mean to hurt you with my words, Alantark. You saw how much heaviness has amassed in your heart. Try not to, try to take care of it. Uh, will I be able to see your world? Your lip just shakes her head. I don't. I do not think so, Elantar. It is impossible to know everything in this world, no matter how much we would like to. And still, my heart sings. For I have helped you find peace, even if only for a short while. Until we meet again, Elantar. May the stars guide us along the safe roads. Okay. 
And if any of you decided to tease me about that, shut it. Okay, I'm a man of many tastes. Uh, do you have anything to say? New to say, Yearlet? Head on talk. Nope. Lord Captain, Lord no, no. Captain. Okay, if I remember correctly. Wait, what? What happened? In... Oh, colonize, okay. Foribundus. Yeah, I got. Yeah, okay. Uh, colonize. Oh, yeah. Penum Solidus. There's nothing here, right? I don't think so. This gas giant devil. Well, a bunch of stuff. Then he goes Epsilon. That's Janus. That's Fellstone. Hmm. There's nothing much for me to do. Let me warp travel a little bit. Yeah, I'm not getting these two. No way, Jose. Cauldron. No, no. Wait, what? I have the magnetic storm. Oh, yeah. Uh, you. What can I do with you? Offer. Prayers to the machine god. The arc operators turn their blessed optics towards the very epicenter of the raging magnetic storm. In spite of the thick haze and static covering the arc spectra, something unexpected appeared. The arc crew has detected signs of life under the planet's surface. There, in the caves, a man-made complex. According to the ship's archives, the world is uninhabited and devoid of useful resources. So the, pre so the presence of someone's base seems intriguing. Send a team to explore. You force a disembark next to the suspicious cave. The entrance to the cave turns out to be blocked by a massive plasteel door. Once pierced by a melted charge, then sharply patched up. Within, the ambush awaited your team. Attackers with immediate bodies pounce. From the darkness without warning. Okay. The forces of the Vomalaisis and the reacted with lightning speed. They walked away from the vicious battle, not only victorious, but having captured the enemy commander. While a shuttle brought the prisoner aboard the Lord Captain's white ship, scouts searched the base and found a vast hall. The walls which were dotted with cryo vaults. All but one were disabled and contained the remains of some prominent people judging by their clothes. The last cryo vault was open and stood empty. Okay. In addition to Curious Machine, the Curious Machine was destroyed during the battle. A further inspection was showed. This was the very contraption responsible for creating the magnetic storm blanketing the planet, concealing the cemetery from prying eyes. Its machine spirit extinguished forever. Tech priest still managed to extract those parts that still have value. Okay. Uh, examine the cryovolts. Tech priest sent, sent at your command have reported that the machine spirit of all cryovolts are healthy and obedient, except the one living within the open sarcophagus. The machi this machine spirit is in terrible condition and afflicted by great madness, muddling its algorithms. Uh. Yeesh. That's right. Damn it. Despite the brutal torture, very persuasive. A very persuasive mind altering solution administered into the prisoner's bloodstream by the by a white tech priest. The bastard maintained his lip, arrogant silence, and perished before a single word escaped his lips. Damn it. What the hell? Coercion. Wait, is, isn't her coercion ridiculously high? Yes, yeah, 80. Do I have to give her something 
else? Like a brass knuckle or something? Hmm. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. Okay, you know what? Let me upgrade you first. Let's do this for Heinrichs. Let's do this for Pascal. Let's do this for Hecata. And let's do this for Idra. Now. Okay, let's try this. So let me save the game. Team Explorer, okay. Okay, it's on the cryo bolts. Please. Yes! Under torture, the bastard confesses to belonging to the cult of St. Drusus. He and his brothers and sisters were tasked with guarding this strange cemetery and preventing anyone from entering. He equally could not hide that the unfortunate inhabitants of the Cryvolts were killed by his people. Alas, that was his last confession as the harsh interrogation finally takes his toll. Okay. So, what do I get? New ruler. The rogue trader encountered a number of followers of St. Drusius on an uninhabited planet. They were guarding a covered underground facility, ready to kill any intruders, intruders without mercy. In the depth, in the depths of the facility, the rogue trader discovered cryo vaults containing dead bodies. Okay. So uh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, not you. Walker Anomaly. Get a voice ship. Oh, okay, let's go to the Silence of Mercy Get. What happened? Oh, great. Okay, let me deal the uh, space pipe first. Then I'll come to you. Uh, which one was that again? Where's the fight? Four. Let's deal two. Why not? Wait, it says it has a fight here, right? Where is it? Oh, what? Whatever. Okay. Yeah, you're the one with the gutter voice ship. Uh. Let's skill. Damn it, really? Wait, who the hell has the highest ballistic skill? What the hell? Okay, whatever. Give me back that. Do not dare ask. Okay, okay. Oh. Huh. What was that thing again? Ah, right, here we go. All right. Really? It's gone? Nah, nah, nah. That's not. Okay, let me rush my butt over to uh, Kiyamagama.
All right, what do you want? Wait, what? No, the parcel here. No. Wait, what? Did I just rush over here for nothing? I believe so. You know what? Uh, add all the cargo. You add all the cargo. I got tons of these. Hey, let's split. So, let the car go. Okay, let me rush over to uh, Fori Bundes first because I want to go to the Adeptus Am uh, Amasakis. I always keep my options open. Okay, uh. Suspicious Prowler? Who are you? Uh, hello? Why did- Okay, I'm- I, I bugged out. Have a backup plan. Uh, you? Uh, pants. Cash of the chain. Okay. Well, listen to this. Such a good fortune is beyond even my wildest dreams, exclaimed Godel, particularly bouncing in his seat. I would be delighted to serve you and the interests of your dynasty. I believe I could offer you sound advice if you decided to build a cathedral or something even more impressive. And I'll see to it that the Imperium architecture of the Coronas expand that I'll be fortunate enough to witness is all well documented. I'll head to your ship at once. Thank you. Okay. All's well that ends well, I guess. Always keep your eye on the price. All right. Oh, uh, where's the bartender? I just noticed. Let us not dawdle. Oh, great! The bartender's gone. Yo. See. Oh. Okay. Why does it stock up? Well, I'm not complaining. There money to be made. Keep your wits about you. Okay. Hello, Ladam. Huh. Uh, this is intriguing. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain about it. That's for sure.
Okay, uh... Yeah, sure. Psyker's Breastplate and Calibrated Heavy Stubber. I mean, okay, I guess. Uh, I'm just short. Damn it. Whatever. Got the cargo. Cargo. Okay, anything else? A bunch of Eldari chain swords. Power moles. Heavy stubbers. Trocardi claves. Yeah, let's just split this. I do not I don't need this much. Okay, three of you and the rest. I'll go. Uh, let's see. Spence rifle. No, no. Okay, good. Well, let's get down to business. Self calibrating goggles. Where are successful single attacks inflict stun on uh, if, okay warp guide staff uh infusing uh, okay willpower plus 10 perception i mean something i guess but more importantly i can now build what is it janus Yeah. Uh, Rose of Zemma can't. The Ashen Breath. Rose Factor. Yeah. Peoples? I can't do Jack for you. Alright. Okay, Optocon 22, you got anything else? Okay. Force field generators. Uh, let's keep the holy gifts. Okay. Uh, using run and gun to wear against. Okay. This is something, I guess. Focus melt guns. Oh, yes. But this will have to go for later.